mitochondria. Nine ways to increase the number of mitochondria you have for weight loss and increased athletic performance after this. Let's get started with the nine tips. Hey, 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 wait just a minute there, Max. What is a mitochondria? Not everyone remembers their biology class, but mitochondria are those little tiny guys. The picture is up here. Those little tiny guys that produce all of your energy. They turn the food that you eat, the oxygen you breathe, into energy for all your cells. Let's get into the nine things that are gonna increase the number of mitochondria you have and their performance. Number one is to eat healthy, wholesome food. Diet plays an enormous role in mitochondrial performance and also mitochondrial number. You're gonna to wanna to decrease sugar you eat and simple carbohydrates. They all increase your blood sugar. These things can lead to inverted inflammation Eat a clean diet with not too many processed food, antibiotic injected meat, or pesticide sprayed vegetables and fruits. This is the first step to increase the thrive of your mitochondria and increase that energy level. Number two, feed that mitochondria balanced diet. But Max, you already mentioned diet. We've mentioned eating healthy food, but you must also have a balanced diet. Mitochondria use carbohydrates and fats to create energy for your cells in the form of ATP. However, your mitochondria are able to use fat slightly more efficiently. If carbohydrate intake is low, mitochondria will use fat as its primary energy source and this can lead to weight loss. Make sure to eat enough nutrients, vitamins, and antioxidants. Examples include fish, organic vegetables, seeds, nuts, avocados. Also, don't forget to add one of the special vegetables that has a tendency to boost the number of mitochondria. Those include vegetables such as Brussels sprouts and broccoli. Number three, try intermittent fasting. Max, did you just say fasting like not eating? That's right, intermittent fasting promotes and wakes up your mitochondria's activity. Try intermittent fasting a few days a week. Try having dinner a little bit earlier in the day and breakfast a little later in the day to get your feeding window down to eight hours, giving you 16 hours of fasting each one of the days that you try to fast. Number four, get plenty of exercise. Exercise is good for you and your mitochondria. High intensity interval training is especially good. High intensity training boosts the performance of mitochondria while simultaneously minimizing the chance that you overtrain and overtraining can be very damaging to mitochondria. Number five, meditate. Meditation, how can that help mitochondria? Meditation and other relaxation techniques decrease oxidative stress, which can be very damaging to your mitochondria. Studies have even shown that massage can be beneficial to your mitochondria's performance. So don't hesitate to get one of those as if we need another reason. Number six, make sure you get plenty of good quality sleep. When sleeping, your brain clears out neuronal waste products, which can be very damaging to mitochondria. And studies show that this increased sleep can also preserve mitochondria. Good quality sleep is gonna increase energy levels and increase your mood. Number seven, expose yourself to the sun. Sensible amounts of sunshine without getting a sunburn can be very beneficial. Sunshine is one of those natural ways to increase mitochondria production. Number eight, take cold showers. Quick changes in temperature can be great for your mitochondria. It tricks your body into survival mode. And when your body's in survival mode, that's gonna increase your mitochondrial production. Number nine, take supplements. A clean, healthy diet is more important than any supplement that you can take, but adding the appropriate supplements to your diet can boost mitochondria just that much more. 
If you take the right supplements, it's going to boost your immune system, you're gonna have better overall health, you'll get sick less frequently, and your mitochondrial will be to benefit for this. Some great supplements that will help boost mitochondrial density and their performance include supplements such as B vitamins, CoQ10, magnesium, and glutathione. I'll put some links to some high quality vitamins in the description below. Now you've seen how important it is to take good care of your mitochondria and your body. By following the tips that we just went over, you'll be able to have a longer life with more energy, increased athleticism, and a better ability to burn fat. I'd like to give special thanks to Danny who left a comment about how to increase his mitochondria and their performance. Hope this helped you out. If anyone else has a topic that they'd like me to go over in a future video, just post it in the comments below and I'll do my best to get to it in a timely manner. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see future videos when they come out, click the subscribe button and become a friend. As always, let's continue discovering modern health together and have a beautiful day.